Do you know what is the most important Spanish word we use in flamenco? Stick around and you might be surprised. Hi, this is Guillermo Guillem for Flamenco Maps. Welcome to my channel. Whether you dance flamenco, you play flamenco guitar, you sing, you play palmas, you play cajon, or you just want to understand how it works, today I want to talk to you about a very little word that can change your whole perception. So maybe you think that this word is uh, compas, or arte, or duende, or soniquete, or I don't know. But for me, this word is por, P-O-R. And basically, it means for, okay? So nothing very exciting so far, but wait. In fact, this little word tells us a lot about how flamenco works, because it reflects the modular nature of this music and dance. So let's see this por in three different contexts. The first use of this por, maybe the first you thought of also, is the por and the name of the palo. For example, we say we play por solea, we sing por bureria, we dance por alegria, right? With this por, we have access to the whole spirit, the whole construction system of a flamenco moment. Because when we say por, then it's not a composition, it's not a piece or a song with a beginning and an end and a duration. No, it's opening the fields of so many possibilities. When a cante begins, we don't know how many letras, how many coletillas, how many estribillo the singer will sing. And we, we don't know the styles either, we don't know the order, and we don't know how many uh, falsetta the guitarist will play. We don't know all these things. We just know if we say un cante por solea that we are in the solea territory, okay? That's the only thing we know. And it means that we are free to go and travel around to go from solea de Alcala to solea de Triana to solea de Cadiz. The singer can and he will probably mix styles together and he will just create a cante. And if he's not feeling very inspired, for example, he can just do a very short cante with three letras and if he feels very inspired he can sing 20 letras por solea and same thing for the baile let's say that we are uh, performing a baile por alegría then we know we are supposed to know the rule of the alegría then we know the compass we know the tonality we know the kind of letras the processing of the letras the different melodies with the different options there is a global structure that we need to respect. We know that we'll have uh, probably a silencio, an escobilla, maybe a castellana, uh, then bulería de Cádiz with different letras, but there is a lot of room for improvisation left. If everyone knows and masters the rules, the musician and the dancer, the singer, then everybody can just play together. And it's really playing together. It's not like a game that we play against each other. No, no, we are playing together with one common goal, which is uh, the artistic expression of a moment. That's why there is, in my opinion, a very big difference in the concept if we say we dance por alegría or we dance una alegría, an alegría. For me, I imagine like an alegría, it's like, okay, it's like a frozen, choreography that has been composed, rehearsed, and all the musicians and everybody knows it and will perform it as it has been rehearsed. It's not a judgment of value, it's not negative because it exists also in flamenco, like a flamenco ballet, for example. Everybody needs to do the same thing because it's many people dancing at the same time. But in this case, like tablao uh, context, for example, there is a lot more room for improvisation. And this concept is reflected in the por. Second context we can find this por, it's inside the name of a palo. I'm sure you've heard already, Bureria por Solea, Fandango por Solea, 
couple pour bourrerie, this kind of thing. Pour here means something else. This refers to kind of crossbreeds that can happen between palos and between styles. And the overall formula for this is name of the cante of the style por compass. So if you have like a very common crossbreed is fandango por solea, for example. It's a cante de fandango, a letra de fandango, with the structure of a fandango, a melody of fandango sung on a 12-piece compass de solea. There are very common crossbreeds like this one, Fandango por Solea, and I'm sure you've heard uh, of the very controversial Bureria por Solea or Solea por Bureria, right? This is a bit uh, specific and we'll make another video for this, okay? But there are many others like Taranto por Bureria, it's a cante de Taranto on the compass de Bureria. Couple por Bureria, Couple it's a kind of uh, of songs that comes from uh, outside of flamenco just put on a compass de bureria and you find many many things fandango por tango it exists and it could be a very interesting idea to just to try different uh, combinations like this like i don't know like uh, guajira por fandango or alegria por tiento i don't know what must be clear for us is that the type of cante is determined only by the cante. It means the melody and the processing of the letra, not the lyrics. The lyrics are a trap. Don't trust the lyrics, okay? We'll talk about this many, many more times. So let's imagine we are in a cante por tango. You are dancing and the singer is starting a letra por fandango on the compas de tango. You need to be able to recognize that this is a letra de fandango. Why? Because the structure will be different and the cues will be different and the way and the uh, place where to rematar will be different. So you need to know both. You need to know the tango because we are in tango and you need to know fandango and the combination will just create something unique and something very interesting at that moment. <laughs> And the third context in which we can hear this por is when we say por medio, por arriba, por taranta, por granaina, por minera. And here we are talking uh, about guitar positions, okay? So this is a complex topic. It's not possible to explain it like this in, in three minutes here. So we'll make another video just for this. But just now for you to know that it exists. Just listen to this and listen to the different colors even if i play just the same chord at the same pitch this is por arriba por taranta por minera por medio por granaina So you see, it's the same thing, but the lighting, the color is just a bit different. These different positions are different possibilities we have. And here we recognize again the adaptable uh, aspect of flamenco. Because with these different positions and this tasejilla, the capo, then we have multiple options where to play one thing. And we can just adapt according to our needs and our tastes. What is interesting here is that we understand with this why flamenco music and flamenco guitar has this specific color because the guitar itself, how it is built, how it is conceived, makes uh, flamenco sounds how it sounds. Here are the three main uses of this small word por in flamenco, right? First one, the name of uh, the territory in which we are, the name of the palo we are exploring in, in this particular moment, or the crossbreeds between different palos, or the guitar positions. And these three contexts illustrate very well the modular, adaptative, creative aspect of flamenco. In its essence, flamenco is not 
strict, it's not fixed, it's not uh, stuck to rigid structures, to pre-established colors. Everything is constantly subject to be modified, put back on the table and recreated according to certain rules and mechanisms that we need to know if we want to be able to perform with a group, for example. But knowing the rules, it's also ultimately uh, the way to break them and free ourselves from them. That's it for today. I hope it could help. Thank you so much for watching. And tell me in the comments what would be your most important word in flamenco. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment about uh, what we could talk about together in these videos and also go and visit flamencomap.com uh, there i have many classes and courses and different things are coming soon oh and don't forget learn flamenco make it fun make it different make it yours